All right, what is good, guys? Bar time soon. Today we're back here on GTA 5, once again with a brand new speed glitch for you guys today. Now this is technically not a glitch, but I will explain to you why I do think it is a glitch. Okay, but uh, first and foremost, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Like I told you guys, we're gonna be getting back into some GTA content. I'm gonna start doing some more uh, PS4 car meets. I'm gonna start posting some more uh, GTA speed glitches as well for the new cars, if I can find any, as well as going back and finding some speed glitches on the older cars that I may have missed. But I also want to get into some GTA roleplay on PC. I'm going to try to find some new servers, but let's get all that out of the way and get right into the video. Today we have the brand new and beautiful Bravado Buffalo STX, obviously loosely based off of the Dodge Charger Hellcat in real life. Now, of course, it has elements from other variants of the Charger as well. You can get like a Scat Pack hood and some other stuff, but for the most part, this is widely known as the GTA version of the Hellcat, for well, the Charger at least. So, it's pretty nice, it's got uh, quite a bit of customization, and uh, it's a pretty solid car, all right? Uh, it is a little pricey, and it does have uh, one major flaw, that being, it's just not that fast, all right? It just doesn't perform as well as I think it should for what it's supposed to be based off of, but today we are going to use a glitch that will change that. So, let's go ahead and hop right in here, and in true bar times two fashion, we are going to do a test pull before we do the glitch, and then obviously after we have the glitch working so that we can do a good speed comparison. Now, let's go ahead and launch this baby off. As you can tell, it's got a beautiful supercharger whine but the engine audio itself is just not that great. I'm not a fan. Uh, obviously, they copy and paste a lot of engine sounds, and this thing just doesn't sound beefy enough for what it is. But as you can tell, we're about to hit around 160, 165. I've gotten it up to 170 before, but you can't really trust these analog speedometers, which is why I like to kind of get a feel for the car in the exterior view. So, obviously, acceleration is a little slow. Now we're in like the middle, and it's not going too great, but in the top end, it does pick up a little bit of speed, so it's quicker in the top end. As we can still, it, we can hear it's still pulling pretty much, so it's not a horrible car by any means, but it's just, I just don't feel like it's as fast for, as, as it should be for what it is, obviously. So now I'm going to be showing you guys the glitch, and obviously, if you guys are new here to my channel, what is up? I'm Bar Times 2, obviously, and I've been making GTA speed glitch videos for about three to four years now, so I've got quite a bit of experience with this stuff, and that's not bragging or anything, that's just me letting you guys know who I am. You've probably seen a couple of my speed glitch videos before, and if you haven't, I'm going to be posting a uh, link to my speed glitch playlist, which has about 40 videos of different cars with speed glitches on them. And I'm going to be posting that in my description and in a pinned comment, so check that out if you're interested. Now, let's get right into this glitch, because funny enough, I've posted this glitch before. It is the wheelie glitch. <clears throat> now, obviously, if you guys know all the muscle cars in the game, I got an update a while back, probably I think it was like two or three years ago, to where all of them can do wheelies now. And to do that, you have to hold down on the handbrake and the gas, let go of the handbrake, and congratulations, you've done your first wheelie if you didn't know how to. But... Uh, the reason I am going to show you guys this and the reason I considered a glitch is because a normal wheelie would look like that, obviously, right? Like sometimes it lasts a little longer, but if you do the glitch, I'll show you guys what it looks like and then I'll show you how to do it. So this is the glitch. And if you can tell, the rear end of the car is glitching into the ground and scraping through the ground and I believe that's why it works. And another reason I call it a glitch is for, well, for two other reasons, obviously. <clears throat> if it was meant to be in the game, all of the muscle cars would be able to do this, but they can't. Only a few of the muscle cars can actually do this and get a lot of speed off of it. Now, obviously, wheelies in the game, they will give you quite a bit of speed, but they won't do it to this extent to where some of these few cars will get, like, a lot of speed, and it will basically make you hit your top speed almost instantly. And in most cases, it will even put your car's top speed over what it is actually supposed to be. So... With that being said, and all that out of the way, I'll quit rambling and I will show you guys how to do the glitch. Now you've got to hold down on the handbrake and gas, and you're going to let go of the handbrake for literally half a second, and you're going to tap and hold. So you're going to press back down on the handbrake and hold it for literally another half a second once you see the car's nose start to go up, and you're going to let off. So I'm going to go through it pretty slow for you guys real quick. Holding down on gas and handbrake, let go, hold, and then you're going to go. And it's going to look something like this. <laughs> Now, depending on how much you practice this and keep, like, trying to get it perfected, your car will be able to hold the wheelie just a little bit longer, and you'll be able to pull more speed out of this method. <coughs> Excuse my cough. I'm, I'm kind of, a, I've got a little cold going on right now. But, 
so yeah this thing is pretty quick with this little glitch on it obviously <clears throat> It really just puts your top speed, uh, just basically makes you hit your car's top speed a lot quicker. And I'll show you guys an interior view this time. And two things you're going to make sure you do with when you're doing this method is make sure your car is completely straight. If you're turned too far to the right or too far to the left, even if it's just a barely little bit, it will pull your car in that direction. And sometimes it's unsavable. You'll be going into the grass, spinning out, etc. Also, make sure you're driving on a nice flat surface. A lot of the roads in GTA are really bumpy and you've got these lights in the way, which is why I normally film my videos over there, but there's too many lights on that strip. So when I try to do on that strip, most of the time the car, since it glitches into the ground, will grab one of those lights and throw the car in the air. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. Obviously also have all of your upgrades completely up. A bolt maxed out, I should say. Uh, engine maxed out, turbo, transmission, braking. Well, braking doesn't really matter, but you're going to need it to stop, obviously. And then, of course, your suspension. I, pro I su highly suggest lowering it all the way down because I don't know if it'll work on any other setting. I haven't tested it myself yet, but let me know in the comments. So, let's get an interior view going here. And then after this, I will show you guys a nice little thing you can do with the new update that is pretty fun to do with speed glitches as well. So, let's get a nice little interior view here. And as you can tell, <clears throat> we almost hit our top speed right there. Obviously, I hit another little bump in the strip, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. This thing is extremely quick with this glitch. Like I said, you just got to practice it a lot. It has been years since I've done this, so you just got to give me a second. But it will keep going and going. And we literally just hit 180 right there, I think. No, we hit 200. Now, obviously, I said you cannot trust the in-game speedometers but we hit 200 so i mean obviously this thing goes pretty fast with this and like i said it will completely launch you past anybody else that is racing normally unless they are doing this as well in a different car such as like the de classy vamos also known as the chevy nova i believe can do this i think honestly i think it is the best car to do this with i think it gives you the most speed but this thing's nuts and since we have the new update if you have the remote control for your car you go to inventory and you go down to remote control vehicles you can do per rc personal vehicle <clears throat> you can only do this a couple of minutes at a time like it has like a minute intervals in between where you can only do this every once in a while but you can do it with the remote controller as well so i'll show you guys real quick it's just going to be just like another interior view but it will work in this and this is revolutionary because other speed glitches You'll be able to do this as well, even when you're not inside the car. Now, obviously, like I said, sometimes uh, I haven't perfected this in a long time, so <laughs> give me a break, guys. All right, it's been a long time since I've done this like version of glitch. Like, it's a really, you've really got to work on getting the timing down to get this to work perfectly. But it's still pretty cool that you can do this as the RC as well. So it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> you can still do it, and I just think it's super cool. I mean, you could literally just be ghost riding the whip and just go insanely fast and destroy your friends oh there we go there was a really good one almost hit 200 again so yeah it's just super cool and super fun to do and i don't know just go get your guy go get yourselves the bravado buffalo stx and have some fun with it man uh like i said this is revolutionary for the speed glitch game uh as far as like being able to rc control the vehicles now it sucks you can't put them on every vehicle that i know of I think you can only put them on the new ones that can get the Amani Tech in the agency, which is how you do it. <clears throat> you bring the car to your agency, and you can essentially put on this remote control. It is kind of expensive, but I highly recommend it because it is pretty fun to use. But with that being said, uh, I truly appreciate everybody who uh, has been giving me a lot of support in the past couple of days and whatnot. I really appreciate it, and uh, like I said, there'll be more to come. I'm going to look up some. Uh, well, I'm not going to look them up. I'm going to test out some more cars and see if I can find some glitches on the other newer ones. So stay posted. I'll post some more speed glitches if I can find any. If not, that's okay. I'm still going to go back and try to find some of the older cars because these cars have been really touching this update. <clears throat> I tried really hard to get the infinite burnout glitch to work on this car, and it simply will not do it because these new cars are unstanceable for some reason. And most of the time when you're doing an infinite burnout glitch, if the car won't hold the burnout long enough, you'll have to stance it somehow. And that's just not possible with this car. So it sucks, but it is what it is. So, But I'm going to quit rambling now, let you guys get on with your day, evening, night, whatever. So I appreciate all the support, like I said once again. And if you guys are interested in any other speed glitch videos or any other just car tricks and tips in GTA, give me, give me, give me a follow, man, all right? <laughs> you won't be disappointed, all right? We have some fun in our live streams and car meets and uh, 
I don't know, maybe I've got some other content on the channel that might pique your interest. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, it has been your boy Bar Times 2, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love you guys, all right?